Hello folks, good morning and welcome to 2020 with me and Kusum. Hi everybody. Kusum, so what should we talk about to the, this year? I don't know, Mr. Singh, how about all the new deductions, the higher amounts, the um, new wage base for Social Security, does that sound good? Da, da, da. That's all becoming boring doing all these things, you know. Anyway, folks, uh, you guys have all had a very good and fun time, especially those who are trying to do their taxes themselves. As you noticed, uh, the standard deduction for singles was 12000 I got good news. Because of the so-called inflation, if you observed it or not, the standard deduction has been raised for single individuals from 12000 to 12400 Similarly, married filing joint is gone up to 24,400. 24,400. Does that is that correct? Or 400 for both the people? All right, we'll, we'll take it. Anyway, and head head of the household uh, is 18,350. What this technically means is your first uh, st uh, standard deduction amount in the event that you are not itemizing is not subject to income taxes. That creates a good con confusion as to number of exemptions that you should claim for your 2019, so, sorry, for 2020 onwards in terms of tax withholding. Hey, you're looking at me, I'm confused. No, I'm not. All right, so having said this, and uh, then the next part that we should talk about is the, uh, the IRA contributions, uh, the amount used to be $5,000 in the past, 5500 5, yes. So the government, out of its generosity, gave us an additional $500. So now people who are single and uh, below the age of 50 have the uh, eligibility to put in $6,000 into their IRAs. And I emphasize the word traditional IRA. Uh, furthermore, the contribution into the Roth IRA is also six thousand dollars, gone right. up from fifty-five hundred to six thousand. Yeah. For individuals who are employees, uh, the employee contribution has gone up slightly, as well, to from eighteen thousand five hundred to nineteen thousand. All right, uh, and that is for both aspects: traditional Roth IRA, traditional four hundred one k with your employer or Roth 401k with your employer. Or a combination of the two. Ah, uh, yes, you can play it up and down. So having said this, according to the publication 590, there's one more key thing. And in the past, people like me who have reached or crossed 50, <laughs> they are eligible to put in additional money, and that's called old geezer rules. It's six thousand dollars for the four hundred one k's, and it's a thousand dollars more for the IRAs. So, if you're fifty and above, you do seven thousand uh, to the traditional or Roth IRA, and you do twenty five thousand to the traditional or Roth four hundred one k. Just for the sake of people who are just waking up, would you like to do the math? A math about? <laughs> How they come up with uh, the, the number 25,000 that you just mentioned? The 19 plus the $6,000 catch up, or the six plus the $1,000 catch up, either one. Either one, so that's $25,000. Anyway, moving further on, uh, there's beginning of the bad news. And that is, uh, in the past year, you had a slightly lower amount on which you were paying 6.2% Social Security taxes. For the year 2020, it's going to be 32,900. 132,900. What did I say, 32,000? Yeah. Oh, I just didn't read the 100. Wouldn't that be great if the government was allowing that? Anyway, it's 132,900. And 401k contribution from all sources, whether you have one 401k with one employer, one 401k with a second employer, uh, where you're working part-time or you are uh, changing jobs, 
together, all together is quote uh, fifty six thousand dollars. Hey, Kusum, I'm always confused. That's the SAP. You know, it's your profit sharing. Your four hundred one k is still nineteen thousand plus six twenty. That's what I was leading to is all together the employee country voluntary contribution and the employer Employee contribution, contribution cannot or should not exceed, exceed fifty six thousand dollars. Hey guys, you know what? I had a lot more stuff uh, in my head to talk about, but looks like uh, we are running out of time. Uh, so, shall we do another segment to, uh, next week on this one? If you like. All right. Uh, so uh, next week we'll take on uh, take up uh, certain items that we missed today, and I will share with you the information as to at what level you don't have to pay income taxes. Uh, folk, this is Manjit, and thank you for watching. I'm Kasum. And I hope you continue to enjoy your New Year's.